Hello and welcome back to Battletech, where in the last episode our protecting the coronation of the local ruler we were working for didn't quite go according to plan. We almost got ourselves killed, Lady Arano's dropship got, got killed and our mentor also got himself killed, so I'm pretty bad. Uh, now it's three years later though and we've apparently been trying to work with a mercenary company, so let's see where our next mission takes. Command interface initiated. Well, the Independent Prospectus League thanks you for your assistance, Commander. We're miners, not soldiers. We can't fight these bastards off on our own. That's what you're paying us for. Don't worry, we'll get your platforms back. This isn't just about claiming what's ours. Majesty medals killed hundreds of us when they tried to jump our claim. We want you to make them bleed for what they've done here. Commander, the OP4 is holding two of IPL's mining platforms. First designated Alpha is where they're keeping the turret generator. We went fast and take it out. Those turrets are hard, so we want to neutralize them ASAP. But from Bravo is the, of, is the side of OP4 security, a uh, corporate security tower. Engage and destroy it. They bring a Minimech to protect it. Take that out too. Then circle on back and we collect our pay. That's right, I'm ready and waiting to authorize the transfer. Now go on, Commander. Hit those corporate pigs where it hurts. We'll be watching the action from here. Alright. Now we have an additional feature, which is morale. This is blue bar next to our pilots. Increases as we, as we engage in combat. If, if it's half full, pilots will be inspired. Accuracy to all attacks. And for some things that we kind of abused in the first mission, like multi-target, for the people of us that have multi-target, uh, using that actually costs morale now, so we can't just use it all the time and have to, you know, uh, you know, um, kind of only use it when we really have to, and that's just, you know, it might be slightly more optimal if I multi-target this, you know? Alright, so let's move everybody up ahead, let's see what we've got. We've got a Vindicator, which has PPCs, M laser, S laser, and LRMs, so mainly a Long range boat. Like it. Uh -huh. I have a shock. Five SRM M laser and an LRM. It's kind of a weird hybrid role. Like without the LRM I would have thought, yeah, it's kind of a close to close to melee range skirmisher, but then it has an LRM too. Kinda of weird, but I guess you're gonna you're gonna be in the front line, Behemoth. Move order received. And we got a spider. Oh yay. Also you have jump jets. And I guess we're gonna be sprinting down this canyon here. He's... Moving to position. In case you're interested, in Macro Online, I think I have locked most playtime in Light Max, which is a bit unusual. Because a lot of people because generally they're the heavier the mech is easier it is to, to fight under some specific situations but I kind of like mechs for their flanking ability and their and um, their ability to um, you know strike somewhere where you weren't expecting them from and then disappear before uh, before uh, before things got too hot for them if you could pilot it well and also uh, I really like being the squirrel I probably talk more about being the squirrel when, once we get to that Where's the turret generator? It's right over there. How much hit points does that thing have? We can't look at how many hit points it has. Shame. Um, like because we have our spider, which is kind of taking this way, or maybe it can even go along this route. So, where we want to, where we want the engagement to take place? Not sure. Maybe if they run further to our direction, we might actually be fine. Just um fighting closer to this base because this base also has turrets. I think also some long-range turrets in between there. Uh, so if we can fight somewhere close to here, we'll have some extra cover. Holding for tactical advantage. So well, let's see what they do. Well, they're moving toward us, all right. It would be kind of not ideal to fight here because here they have a height advantage on us. 
Alright. Well, both of them mechs have already moved, so I guess those are light mechs. And they have two turrets here. I think if we move, we probably want to move yeah, now. Move here. We'll be able to fire with what exactly? Pointing at a different target. This should be the LRMs, right? Because <clears throat> I'm debating whether I want to use the spider here to, um, you know, uh, put a sensor lock on that thing. Orders? I think I'm actually going to do that. Don't don't have a sen you don't have a sensor lock. Waiting on you, commander. I don't have a sensor lock. Oh damn it. Why are you in a spider when you have no sense of lockability? That's, that's just such a way. Uh, I guess he's still gonna attack first. Use these rocks kind of. kind of protecting your side. Bird might still be able to hit, although it doesn't have a line of sight yet. Coordinates received. Seriously, dude, you're sitting in a spider and you have no sense. Hostile on sensors. Well, anyway, you can attack with your lasers. You also remove evasion charges, but only one. Would have liked, liked to remove two before, you know, the big guys move in and try and shoot at the spider. Squirrel, you know. Yeah. Barely. Okay. Waiting for orders. Actually, since you're, since I remember myself being such a terrible shot, I'm actually going to be taking the extreme range shot from here. Probably not just use all, all of the weapons in order to conserve heat. Just mainly firing at it to to um to re remove its evasive charge for behemoth and hopefully glitch. If glitch can get a shot at that thing, then that'd be amazing. Well, you need. To... Oh, you can only hit it with the LRM. Okay, I see. Bad. Anyway, well, Behemoth also has a has a lot of weapons, so let's here. And as I said, I'll attack that thing. But I'm not gonna waste any AC ammo on it, and I'm also not gonna use those lasers because you know. I don't need to build up heat for shots that are probably not gonna hit anyway. Engaging Why would I? Alright. Glitch, since you only can hit with the LRM, I guess you can. Next. On my way. Then Behemoth can maybe get a decent shot into. Uh, in. in. Just maybe though. Ready for orders. All right. Kind of increase our chances from like twenty to thirty percent to fifty percent. Oh. Probably, uh, pr pr probably don't want to fire with the SRMs because they really don't have a good chance to hit anything. But rest can probably shoot. One of heat we're generating even with fire, e even with all weapons firing is minimal, so I guess we'll fire everything. Everything we have for hundred shots with these. So. With only two shots per round, we can use them for a while, so... Targeting for an I'm not too worried about running out of ammo for these anytime soon. <clears throat> They've got a lock on me. The enemy turrets can sensor lock, though. Which is slightly annoying. They've got a sensor lock on me. Because the way this is going, we can't just wait 
like we did in the last mission because right now we have zero evasive charges and some of the turrets are even hitting us with missiles from over there so we should probably consider running in ASAP Waiting for orders. <clears throat> we still can't hit anything, how about jumping? you could jump on top Totally expose yourself. <coughs> but since you get your evasive charges back, you can maybe survive it for a turn. Whoops, I wanted to see that. Never mind. Probably have gone there anyway. So your target is to shoot down this turret generator, or at least heard it enough that someone can maybe take it out with an LRM salvo at some point. No? A couple of guys have, have LRMs. <clears throat> Commando! Oh yeah. Pretty good hits for having full evasive charges, man. Respect. Losing lots of armor. All right, uh, the enemy mechs have already moved, so how does your, how do your charges look? You have one, you have zero. All right, Mimoth, if you want to move in there and you know, kick, kick, some, kick some ass and chew bubble gum, then feel free to do that. You can maybe jump up here. Or maybe four M's. Okay, shoot that. Do you have multi-shot? Any one of you have multi shot? I hear ya. You have multi target. Okay. One guy. What can I do for Woman. You? They. I don't know. What your preferred pronoun is glitch? Receiving you. Um. Hmm. How many missiles do you have? I hear ya. Uh, four times five, so that would be twenty damage, which wouldn't kill the turret generator because it needs fifty more damage. That's a problem. This here, can you? Yeah. So if you either hit with a PPC, if you hit with a PPC, it would kill it. Regardless of the LRM hit, but PPC would need to hit. Let's collect. Let's see if you can manage that first before doing anything else. Because if you're able to do that, then we don't need to worry about the turrets too much. And just focus on shooting down the mix. We could theoretically multi target, but as long as the morale is above 50%, we have a slight to hit bonus, so I'll rather keep that. Here we go. And do some minus Q damage and something. What about the PPC? What, what the, what the, what the? happened with the PPC? Did you, did you just whiff that totally or... Where'd that PPC go, man? Damn it. Ah, uh, crap. The thing really needs to go down. Like, there's way too many turrets that we don't want to tank. Damn it. You take care of this, maybe? Was PPC deactivated, but I didn't fire with glitch yet. Okay. Engaging target. Target building destroyed. Bye bye. So with that thing down, both these turrets and those turrets here are in operational. So while we didn't do much damage to the max this turn. And sacrifice three of our mechs in order to take this thing out. At least we're not getting fired upon by the turrets this turn anymore. You know, always good. 
Uh, you can try and kill the spider. Well, what you have? Has this hit? Why only have 24? Man on instead, I guess. Maybe that's hurt somehow. What's within the minimum range? I see. Okay, then. I'd actually like it to hit that. You also have the bulwark ability. If you don't, if Behemoth doesn't move at all, she automatically gains guarded, which means damage reduction against ranged attacks that are found inside. So, but right now she doesn't have doesn't have any shot on that guy, which I would. But actually, I'm lying. It's like 65, and the ROMs also have a pretty decent chance. So let's actually just stand right here and shoot at that spider. Affirmative. Men are interesting opponents. They have a lot of uh, short range missiles. So they can be really dangerous up close, but if you manage to pick them away from that, they're not the fastest. Max. So do you just want to fire at that spider again? Not your turn yet. Probably spider's gonna move. Scratch that. Scratch that. You could melee attack the spider though. That'd be that'd be actually interesting. Oh. Do that. Uh, even if you've hit the center torso, it's probably not gonna kill it though. While two shots with a melee laser would actually kill it. And with 80%, well, it doesn't necessarily need to hit the center. You try precision striking. Hmm. But again, I don't want to let all morale sink below the threshold, so let's try the melee attack just for just for the low, but mainly. Standing by. Affirmative. Target's taken a critical hit. Okay, it's unsteady now, which makes it difficult, more difficult for it to fire at something. Effectively, it manages to hit fine though. Somehow. Oh well. What do you have? Answer none really. That could probably work. For the LRMs. Although I have enough ammo ammo left. Well, let's do that. At that thing. Not, not, not connecting those PPC shots today. I'm already glitch. That's the second pretty decent shot that she just totally whiffed What's for some up, reason. Pal? Right now, that right now that thing is obscured. Oh, we need this. Here would be pretty. Let's just try and take that spider down. It's it doesn't have evasive charges other than the commando, so let's try and focus fire on that thing right now. As I said, the commando will probably do some serious damage if we ignore it for too long, but there's like not that much. Oh. Affirmative. 
Someone maybe hit it. Thank you. Alright. That thing hasn't been hit at all. Uh, however, I could try melee hits. Most evasive, you know. So, try that. And if I manage to hit the legs, which that would be really nice, because I would like to take out that commando without damaging it too much, probably by taking out the legs if I have time to dismantle it. So, let's try that. arm okay well it kind of made sense that you kind of stomped on the right arm there so no worries but the enemy got back up to get Decker into a position where we'll probably wait for them to walk up this ramp and the moment that they enter this area someone will jump down from here and try to stomp on the vehicles while the other of our guys will probably try to fight him from the even upper from the even higher ground from here so this is this is the plan that I have for now concerning these guys so Alright. 70%. When you were all. Would have a pretty decent chance to hit that leg though. Pretty much facing us and if we down the leg, then it would be sitting on the ground, at which point we could shoot down the other leg. So at that point it would just escalate, so even if, if we're just using morale, precious morale to, for just M lasers, might be just worth it. Back. Well, actually, he, since he did already move, I could probably just... Uh, I'd actually like to do that someone with someone else, you know? Not that. That, like, both weapons, and if we don't hit the leg with both weapons, then we really didn't gain much from it at all. So let's just hit it. So it loses the last evasion charge. Then we'll see what happens next turn. Next phase, I mean. Or M's or can already reach us. Good. So how about you? You have a lot of M lasers and you're already kind of next to it. And a couple of, and one of the legs has already gone gotten significant damage in. So I might actually be interested in putting it down for the other one actually. Probably can't see it because it's not facing you. Anyway, um, move slightly. Well, that's one way of getting there. Not necessarily the way I would have taken it, sure. Whatever. So now let's try to take that leg. And everything? Yes, so, right? I, mean, we, I do really want that leg to die. It's probably overkill. 
pretty much definitely overkill, but you know, there's no kill like overkill. Maybe maybe we can conserve some heat. You okay? Why don't you hit the left torso, man? Move bombs, arms, and one leg from an enemy. Yeah. Uh. I wanted to just remove the legs in order to so, so so we don't damage it too badly, so we can recover some components. But you know that plan has kind of backfired hard because aside from a center torso, there's really not much living in this mech anymore. Oh damn it! Nice. All right. Anyway, I'd like to. Oh. You betcha. So since it's down on the ground, I could either I could either end it right now by shooting the center torso, or I could try and remove the leg. <sighs> to be honest, requires 50 damage, and the chances are not that great. This requires only 30. So we can run cool for one turn, so let's let's just core it. The only thing you went through, but you know, Here fucking damn it. Oh, Behemoth still has a turn. Uh, actually, I just Orders. use that in order to get into position. Question is, which position we should, well, wanted to get you to? Because there's also some approaching from the road down there. Not sure if they'll proceed down the road and you know try to take all this way. It would be nice to go here and then intercept them next turn, but. Uh, Honestly, if they want to continue down that road, then they run into those turrets here and they'll probably not be looking so pretty after that anyway, so I think we're just going to jump over here. I'm going to jump on that corpse of that thing. I'm going to jump over here yep. and then we're going to do that plan that I talked about earlier. Have that mech run up the hill and then attack it and if something's behind it, then the spider can go. Jump jet around it and take care of that thing too. Roger that. Standing by. Well it hasn't entirely run up this ridge. But I think it's but I think it's still close enough, so now we're gonna hit it from all sides. We haven't discovered it yet, we can't really see your chances, but it should be pretty good. I mean, we're on higher ground, we're a pretty clear shot. I would try to give that leg thing one more chance, maybe. We'll see. We're still far and far away to probably use the 5 2. Maybe? Let's see. Oh, it's another shock. That's nice. I mean, it has three evasion charges. Not to, that's not too great, to be honest. So precision striking wouldn't be too great at the moment. Also, since it's a shock, it has quite a bit of armor. And we can and we can only like precision st precision strike once before. Well, anyway, then let's not do that. Let's just do a regular attack. Firing on target.
They really do want to go down that road. You are aware that you're not Max and you can't jump up that ridge. I mean, I w up, I, it, it'd be totally awesome if, if, if they actually could and I just don't know about it. Good to but go. I kind of doubt it. Huh? So... Are you... Oops, how are... Chance. Decent. I'm still thinking about trying to leg that guy. Although, if I'm going for that plan, I might also try and run in with a spider in order to move further evasion charges. If that vehicle can hit at it from there. You have four evasion charges and all, and only that vehicle is still moving. It would probably be happened better if I just waited, you know, send all of my initiative to phase two. Then we could still do it without that vehicle being able to do anything. So, in hindsight, it would probably have been more efficient. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Roger. Probably the arm. <clears throat> but that vehicle still wants to go down that road, apparently. Oh, it wants to fire, actually. Four of these charges won't take care of that, I guess. Okay. Waiting on you, Commander. So oh, glitchy glitch. Uh, it's a PVC shot. Okay. <coughs> I'm, I'm a little bit surprised, to be honest. But I'll take it. Maybe we can try giving that leg idea another shot. We can almost do two of them. So let's. Don't need to tell me twice. So a certain strike. I have like the same chance for both of them. So which do I like less? I like your left leg. What's a little bit weird is that you can also apparently precision strike with the LRMs, which is a little bit weird for me as a Mac Warrior Online player, but... Special delivery. Because there the LRMs always went ballistic, even if, if you were really close to the target, and you would always hit something that's on top of the mech and never could, could like hope to hit a leg with it. That would be like crazy talk in Mac Warrior Online. This is not Macro Online, so you know. Maybe maybe it's not crazy talk here. Alright, how are we looking? That one leg is out of armor at least. So maybe if we do another precision strike at it, we'll lose our morale bonus. Always. You use it in between somewhere? I thought it was at 80, now I'm at 46 somehow. That's weird. I was still gonna be using it, but I'm wondering I'm wondering why my how my morale dropped so dropped so so fast. Huh. I really don't know, to be honest. I have to look that up at, at the video later. Or you can write it in the comments, you know? Anyway. Try and hit that leg again. Everything we got. Like still standing. Ah, 
Ah, 28 damage, damn it. God damn it. Alright. So, what do you want to do? Can you jump all the way down there and, you know... <laughs> do an awesome... Do an awesome uh, death from above. Uh, the death from above thing is not, is not, is not entirely without risk because you can, like, damage your legs and all. But I think it's an awesome idea, you know? Also makes a mech ver very unstable. <laughs> but, you know, all the funsies. That can kill leg damage and stability damage, yeah. Come on. Roger that. I wanna see it. Bam! Vehicle trap. <laughs> Damn. That's not gonna get that's not gonna get old fast. Oh, that really hurt. Yeah, sure. Internal structure damage. Commander. Mm, do you wanna continue the melee hits or No, I don't actually didn't want to do that. I wanted to back. You know you have vigilance and all that. We don't Well actually we we do have enough morale for another precision attack again. So we only need at twenty-eight damage, so probably not like your category of damage. Probably Strider is probably better suited to do you know that that sort of thing. I only need to land like two hits, you know. So let's try that. Try and do that. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's unload everything again. Probably some of the shots will wildly hit something else, but you know. <laughs> but no. What the hell are you shooting at, man? How's that leg still not down? Ah, oh. serious? What's up, Fox? Fucking seriously? <laughs> Three. You know what? I don't care anymore. Target acquired. Ah, oh, damn it. Three. I hear ya. <sighs> All right. Do we want to take down that vehicle Fire down there? Son, watch where you hit. Well, you know, if if you want to brawl it out, we, we, we can oblige. You know, it's not like not like I have any problems with that. Alright, that Corpsec Tower is down. Shadowhawk isn't quite yet though. Why, 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 why can that thing make a turn again? It just had its turn. What the hell? Jesus. Why did that get to make its turn again? Ready for orders. Was that the 
turn from before. Probably, probably got its initiative set back by something. I think uh, Precision Strike removes the initiative, so it was behind us, and then it got got its next turn before us. So I guess that was what happened here. But dude, so it's the red leg that's still kind of in a very bad state. So let's try to hit the red side. If we score some indirect hits on the leg, then. I'd like it. But I'm not gonna waste any any more precision shots on that mech. Not when it survived with fucking three structure there. Sad. Confirm. Now the least. Damn guys, they're trolling me on purpose. I, I, I realize it now. Just trolling me on purpose. Jeez. Good to go. Jeez. All right. Hunt attack. Line of sight. Thing. Oh, sir. He won't fire quite as effectively from range. That's decent, we can't fire with a small laser, but EPC yo. So can we get that other leg maybe guys? Uh, how about that? You didn't get the lag, right? Kill the pilot without destroying the mech. Okay. Because of the side torso explosion, the pilot just got injured so much that it... That it got killed, alright. Hmm. Thing. Not sure what that does for the salvage. Uh, a mechanic that we haven't seen yet, but uh, can start talking about it right now because we don't have anything to do yet any anyway at the moment. Um... At the end of missions, we can salvage parts from what we destroyed. If, 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 for instance, we were facing a mech that had LRMs, and then we, then we, cut its arm off where the LRM was stationed, then we have a pretty decent chance to find the LRM in the war loot, for instance. You know, and it's similar with mechs. We can actually rebuild mechs from what we defeated by not damaging them too much, but disabling them, them somehow. Like accidentally killing the pilot there is probably pretty good for that. Otherwise, it's probably, as far as I know, removing the legs without destroying anything else would probably be good. But you know, my people always tend to tend to accidentally hit something else too, so it's probably not that great. Anyway, um. Yes, Commander. Let's move back to our employer. Move here. Don't need to, need to all stand at the very same place, you know. So, how about payment? Guys, how about payment? Yes, can I get can I payment? I do really need to all be there. Apparently we need to all be around here. Shame. Oh, brain work commander. We should have no trouble mopping up the other platforms now that the defenses are down. We get the job done. Speaking of which... I wasn't finished. These platforms won't do us much good if we can't hold them. Majesty Metal sort of that. But we need your battle mix. Uh, you're gonna wanna reconsider that. Why? Oh, Lance has already been target locked by our turrets. Now power down and surrender and we'll let you walk. Try to fight and we'll tell you to shreds. Your call. Well, there goes our goddamn payday. Hot side commander one away. All right.
Alright, I guess you don't have a turret generator that I can just easily take out. Nope. Alright, then we'll try to... Oh wait, there's some... <coughs> some vehicles coming in too from there, so I probably don't want, to sp want the spider to be right next to it. Let's... Those should provide some cover, right? And here. Fire. It's just almost down. There's like a couple of structure points left only. One of you had multi target. Did. Do you. Just like send your LRMs that way and take out something different too. Or maybe your M laser for that. Or we work out better. We have a direct line of sight on that. Apparently not. Alright, guess you're gonna be taking out a different turret then. Right. Take that. Okay. So, multi target. That M laser to go there and the rest to go down there. We'll take out Line both of them, now. unless you, know, you miss. Alright, that thing's down. And. Thank you. Okay, um, two turrets left and those vehicles. Any of you get a decent shot at one of the vehicles? Can I see? There's the building kind of in the way, which isn't that great. That. Sadly, you don't have multi target. Yeah, that'd be kind of neat. Eh, anyway, let's all back a little. Huh. That thing has... I think I want to take out that vehicle here. More than I want to take out the light, the, the, the light shredder turrets, I think. From here, should have a decent shot with pretty much everything from here. Except the other rams, but who cares? Would be with your back turned to what the other things. Kind of a bad thing about this. Uh, actually, let's just continue mopping up the turrets. Worry about the vehicles next turn. Oh, we need to take out this, but uh, Strider still has his turn, right? Hopefully, you can take care of that turret right next, right next to your, next to your face. Yeah, just unload everything. We probably don't need it, but you know, misses and all that. <coughs> Mm-hmm. 
Alright, all the turrets are down, unless I unless I missed something. We have three vehicles left. A couple of which we can probably also stomp next turn. It is particularly effective against vehicles because I told you how mechs are gonna be destroyed. Vehicles actually are destroyed by just removing a by, by just getting any structure subsystem destroyed, doesn't matter which one. Yeah, it could be the backside, it could be the front, it could be the, the turret, it doesn't really matter. Standing by. So... Could do death one. Could do that, you would incur leg damage though, and your leg is already looking not too shiny. So maybe we actually don't want to do that. We're probably also not able to kill that thing, so just, just, of that thing. Might get his leg sh uh, shot off by accident, but for that one, that happens. Not really do anything useful other than make himself a target. Alright, how about stomping, stomping that thing now? No? Which? Stomping? What can I do for you? Stomping? At least one one guy gets it. So, with, because stomping does 40 damage. And if I take a look at it... There. Oh no, oh, right click. Because no matter which segment I'm looking at, it has nowhere it has an armor plus structure of of higher than 40. So just stomping it and hitting should just be enough. You no, know, I, I emphasize the hitting part there. You know, but ultimately, a, ultimately a certainty that that you are gonna be able to do that. But if we do, it's. Would have probably also been toast if we'd fired upon it, but you know, stomping's, stomping's cool. Oh. Okay, um. There actually was a turret gen generator in there. Oh, damn, I didn't see it. Oh crap. Waiting for order. Where did I miss that? Was even a line of sight indicator directly to it. I'm sorry, I totally whiffed on that one. You know, it just eyesight check. <laughs> God. Uh, anyway, uh we can probably reach that with uh behemoth and stomping and stuff. So let's shoot at that guy with the guns. Focus fire on something. We have the morale, you know. So we pretty decent chance to hit that side segment, and if we hit it, it's gonna die. That's time to die. Okay. That thing too. Targeting for physical attack. 
See you later, alligator. One more for the trash. <clears throat> then rough extraction commander. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, and Darius. I know, Meyer, I know. You want another team meeting? Give the man a prize. Mission successful. All right. We actually succeeded with all of our, with all of our objectives, but we didn't get paid. <clears throat> uh, all right. And then I need some minor repairs need to be made. I think this we didn't lose any, we didn't get any components blown off, so we don't have to pay too much. But we do need to do some some um, repair work on uh, the Shadowhawk and the Spider at least. Also, Decker got injured by that random headshot with a machine gun from that one vehicle, so, you know, happens. Anyway, because this is a weird mission we didn't get to loot. As I mentioned, normally we would get to um, also take our pick of loot after missions, but didn't get it after this one. Yeah. I don't know why. I mean, we kind of killed everyone, so stuff was just lying around. <coughs> so, uh, sorry. So why didn't we just send in our crew to do no loot stuff? I don't know. Uh, anyway. Can you start fighting us better clients, Darius? I mean it. We've been slumming it on the ass end of the frontier for three years now, and we're drowning in debt. I'm fully aware of our financial situation, Meyer. I just can't conjure up new clients out of thin air. Chris, do me solid and back me up on this. Well, if we're really that hard up for cash, we need to stop talking and start doing something about it. Hey, you don't have no arguments for me. Yes. When we made you a new commando, we all agreed to follow your lead. Darius, could you walk us through the details of this trouble we're in? It might help if you broke things down point by point. Sure thing, Yang. Point one. Maya's right. We're in debt. Every sea where we make is technically belongs to the banks. Point two. This corner of the frontier is a dead zone for mercenary work. The clients, but they're terrible. It's just a fact. And that's it. There are no other points. Alright. So, what's our best case scenario? How many jobs would it take to repay the loans? Truthfully, I can't even say. We're in a pretty deep hole, and from where I'm standing, I don't see a whole lot of daylight. The thing is, these banks, and I use the word loosely, they don't want to pay us or to, to pay off our loans. They'll do whatever they can get away with keeping us on the hook. Hit us with fees, check up our interest rate, misfile paperwork. I'm trying to find a way out of this, but it's going to take time. And every day that passes, we accumulate more debt. If we're going on like we've been, good. Okay, we're in a bad spot, so what are we gonna do about it? Well, I don't see what we can do, Chris. I'm already serving up every legitimate contract I can find. Unless you want me to sidestep the mercenary review board entirely, we're basically out of options. We go around the MRB? No thanks. Taking an uncertified job is a great way to wind up with a knife in your back. Well, considering we just got betrayed by a board certified contract, uh, Yang, how much worse can it get? Plenty. What happened down there was an exception, boss. Uncertified certified job, it's the rule. Remind me again why we don't just skip town and head to a nicer corner of the periphery. Because the banks and the jump ship crews have an arrangement. Until we pay up, they're gonna keep us on short leash. That's good reason. Look, Darius, Maya's right. We need to start earning some real money. We need to do it soon. It's only a matter of time before something breaks down. I can't fix with duct tape and good intentions. Well, if I were afraid of taking risks, I would have never left that gilded cage my parents called home. We're gonna have to be just as bold. Get that, Darius? That voice of experience speak. Going around the MRB might kill us, sure. But so might a thousand other things. We're mercenaries. Taking risks is our business. But we do need to get paid. 
Let's settle then. I'll start digging for contracts outside the MRB system. Who knows, maybe it'll work out for the best. It isn't like we got all that much to lose either. In the meantime, we'll need to find another paying job, and our prospects in the system have completely dried up. I recommend booking travel to a new boring system and seeing what the review board has for us. With any luck, we'll find enough work to keep going until something better rolls in. Thanks for holding our jump ship access hostage until we prepare our depths. For now, we can only go between Okruin and the nearby systems of Alloway, Bellafron, and Deep. Our priority right now needs to be finding work so we can raise cash. None of the contracts here are way good. I picked out the only viable one I can find. It helpfully includes our travel fees as part of the deal. Come by the command center when you're ready to review it. Alright, now the fun part in my opinion. I mean the, the battle is also fun. Don't you know, don't don't uh don't don't wanna say that, but for me the real fun part is this management aspect of the game. Because now we can hire people that we would right now because we don't really have the money to pay the people that we already do have, so why buy more people? No. Uh or we can hire people, we can buy things, even partial mech salvage if we had the money. We can look take a look at contracts, which we'll do in a moment. Take a look at our mech warriors. Got a little bit of experience there in the last mission. Apparently we also have some experience left over, so let's check real quick what we're gonna get out of it. Uh, so we would get sensor lock with tactics five, apparently. Piloting, we would gain evasive movement, so we gain extra evasive charges for movement action. Plus, we would get bulwark. Get from guts. Okay, with gunnery, we would get multi target. Probably want to use. Well, we'll probably want to get better at gunnery anyway. So, since we're already pretty high up on tactics, I think. Just think I'm actually going to go to 5. So I gain a sense of ability. Someone needs to get it, you know. And. Yes, I'm going to improve the gunnery a little bit. That's been pretty pathetic sometimes. Alright. And then Behemoth. He has 8. He has bulwark, right? So, we really need to learn anything here. Commander? Let's get better piloting, which would increase the base melee chance. It's not that relevant, to be honest. It already has multi target. I'd rather wait for guts so she can. Yes, Commander. Get away with more injuries. Yusa has a lot of experience somehow. Could go and learn multi-target here. Actually didn't didn't use Medusa on the last mission. Come to think of it. Uh work work. Gunnery for now. Training complete. Got that. I think we would have to raise guts to four to gain additional health. I don't think we get anything from the third point here, so I can do it later. Anyway, mech base. Nice to see you down here in the hole. So as we can see here, the Shadow Hog is a little bit damaged and needs some repair. Take a couple of seabulls and, and two days to repair it. So let's it. Same here. Once that is done, I might want to take a look at the mechs and maybe figure out some other loadouts for them. Probably not going to be using the locust unless I have to. And probably the one I was least satisfied with the design was the Shadowhawks, or 
we have some time before the next co next contract. I will, uh, I'll, 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 after all the repairs, I might want to ma start making changes on the Shadow Arc. That thing is fine for what it does at the moment. Same here. Though it could use more heat sinks, to be honest, but same thing here. Anyway. But here we can basically modify our max. Let's maybe take a look at that. And I'm not gonna be doing much. The general system is pretty similar to the old Mac Warrior games that I know, and also to Mac Warrior Online. You can basically fit your weapons into specific system slots. Like the right arm here has two slots for lasers, one one of which is used for the PPC right now. I could technically move the M laser there, which might have some advantages and some disadvantages. And I could think about other things like removing the small laser, for instance, which we'll barely use because we'll probably use a sniper to use the PPC and the LRM. And small laser, why it is a pretty powerful weapon up close, we really do need to get up close. And unless we have like multi target, probably not gonna happen. In the same turn, we're gonna be using our PPCs. It does also automatically fire when we uh, do a melee attack with, uh, with a mech. Because it's not a laser, but a support weapon here in this game, which is slightly different than what uh, I've known before. But um, support weapons can want anti-personal weapons, including a small laser, machine gun, and flamer. And I also think they fire automatically if you do a melee attack. You know, so it might be interesting to just keep it here because it ha it, it has like only 0.5 tons when it uses up a slot. So it's not that critical. I probably also want to play around with the armor value on my mechs a little bit. Especially if I sh decide to remove the laser for instance, I can like allocate some more armor to things. Like I probably want to have more armor at the front and less at the back. Like 30 at the backside for some small surprise action there is fine, but doesn't need 45 at the center torso. A little bit extreme. Uh, I really don't want to elongate the mission, uh, 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 elongate this recording any further. I'll probably make up my mind off screen and then show you the difference. Uh, show you if I made any changes. I thought about any changes. So let's just go back here. Now, if we take a look at our contracts, we have Gorilla Interception, which includes travel to Belepharon. So, and we get a little bit of pay out of it, and max salvage, and a little bit of reputation. And more importantly, it would take us 12 days to get there. So if we go back to the mech bay, or current schedule, after 9 days the mech bay really wouldn't do anything at the moment. So we would have like 3 days to do some small refits. We could probably not take off all the weapons of something and make a completely new set because that will, that will really take quite a while to go through but I can probably make some small changes as I said I'm gonna be taking a look at it uh, off screen and then um, explain to you, ex explain the changes to you in the next episode so we're gonna be seeing more of that and the next contract in the next episode thanks for watching and I'll see you next time have a good one